What is sheet metal bending? Sheet metal bending involves using different tools to bend a flat sheet of metal into a desired shape. Whether you realize it or not, sheet metal bending is all around us, shaping the world we live in. When you're working with sheet metal bending, you're essentially dealing with a delicate dance between material properties and bending forces. The material type, thickness, and grain direction all play a crucial role in determining how the metal will respond to bending. Did you know there are multiple ways to bend metal and create the part you desire? Let's take a look at some of them. V-bending and U-bending. These are the classics as the metal is bent into a V or U shape, respectively. These methods are versatile and commonly used for various applications. Bottoming. This is a powerful technique where the metal is bent using a punch that reaches the bottom of the die, ensuring a sharp bend with minimal spring back. Coining. Coining involves applying extreme pressure to the metal to achieve precise, well-defined bends. It's like pressing a metal into shape with the force of a coin press. Air bending. Air bending relies on the deflection of the material to achieve the desired bend angle. It's a bit like a gentle hug that molds the metal into shape. Step bending. Step bending creates a series of bends at different angles along the length of the metal, forming a step-like pattern. Roll bending. Roll bending uses rollers to gradually bend the metal along its length, creating curves and cylinders. Wipe bending. In wipe bending, a flexible pad or wipe die is used to gradually bend the metal into shape perfect for achieving smooth curves. Rotary bending. Rotary bending involves rotating the metal around a central axis to create circular or spiral shapes. What is bending allowances? Bend allowance is a manufacturing term that refers to the allocation given to accommodate sheet metal's stretch and bending. When metal bends, it doesn't fold precisely as intended due to the springback effect. It's similar to how an elastic band returns to its original shape after being stretched. To counter this, bending allowances are essential. They dictate the extra material you need to bend to achieve your intended angle accurately. Determining bending allowances involves considering several factors. A few of the most important ones are Material properties. Different metals display varying tendencies for springback. Bend radius. A tighter bend necessitates a larger allowance. Bend angle. Greater angles call for larger allowances. Tooling factors. The specific tools and equipment being used. K factor. It is, is a number, to describe how far from the center the theoretical neutral axis moves when it's bent. You can find the K factor for different materials here. How to calculate sheet metal bending allowance. You can use the formulae on the screen to start the bending allowance calculation. Bend allowance is equal to the angle times the sum of the bend radius and the k-factor multiplied by the thickness. Tips for sheet metal bending. Tip 1. Choose the right tool. Having the right tool is necessary for correct sheet metal operations. Tools like a press brake are simple and widely available, but can have a high impact on overall precision and accuracy. Tip 2. Mine the grain. Bending against the grain can lead to unwanted deformations and cracks. It also affects the durability and may even contribute to increasing the overall micro-cracks in your workpiece, which will create another huge problem down the line. So, remember to always go with the flow, quite literally. Tip 3. Go gradual. Sheet metal bending is a time-consuming process that needs a lot of patience and repeated motions. It's important to incrementally make small changes while bending to create a smooth finish. Otherwise, the results won't be pleasing aesthetically and may even have some durability issues as well. Tip 4. Test and iterate. Another important point is to always conduct a test run before starting the process. Each design has its intricacies and may require a different approach. Testing out before will help you ensure smooth processing with little to no delays. Tip 5. Embrace the K-Factor. The K-Factor is perhaps the most essential determinant of your part's viability and the results of your bending process. 
It's a constant that helps you calculate the bend allowances and ensure that the entire process goes as smoothly as planned. Tip 6. Keep the design parameters as simple as possible. The most important tip is to embrace simplicity whenever possible. Start with ensuring uniform thickness in the workpiece, keeping a minimum bend radius, distancing any holes from the bend, or placing the bends next to each other. In conclusion, the metal bending process revolves around precision, accuracy, and finesse. With the appropriate tools, combined with a bit of patience and a focus on simplicity, your designs can swiftly come to life. At Rapid Direct, our team of professional sheet metal fabrication engineers specializes in sheet metal bending and other metal fabrication processes. Feel free to reach out to us. If you found this video helpful, please remember to click the like button and subscribe for more insightful manufacturing content.